Hi, Macy. Hi, Bo. Hi. So I have a question for you guys. What are boats made of? Um, uh, stuff that float. What do you think, Bo? Metal. Um, here, I'm going to give you blocks of okay. the things boats are made out of. And I want you guys to tell me uh, if you think that's a good thing to make a boat out of. Okay. So here's a chunk of wood. What do you think about that? No. Why is wood not a good idea to make a boat out of? Because if you were to make a boat out of it, the water would just go right through the wood, right? I think so. I think so. I can see where you would get that. What do you think, Bo? Do you think that's a good thing to make a, a boat out of? Why not? Metal. Metal. So what happens when you put wood in the water? It, it gets wet and kind of gets like sloppy and gooey. And, and, gooey. and, um, and it soft. breaks a pulp. We'll put it in the water. See what happens. Put the block in the water. Put the block. So, what does it do? It floats. It floats. So is that a good thing for a boat to do? Yeah. Yeah. Do we shape it very easily? Do you think I could make this into boat shape very no. easily? No. No, it's not very shapeable, is it? And if we were to like run into something, right, what could happen to it? Is it pretty strong? No. Yeah, it's not particularly strong. Did that surprise you? Yeah. You didn't think I was gonna do that, did no. you? <laughs> And indeed, Macy was right, because if I pour water on this wood and come back a few days later, I'll notice that the wood is going to start to be misshapen and warped. And over long-term exposure to water, the wood can completely warp and misshape or even start to rot. Here is this. So that's metal. So that is steel. So, Macy, feel the block. What do you think about that to make a boat out of? No, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. So can you gently put it in the water? Like kind of set your hand sort of partially down there because it's gonna, you're right. It definitely sinks fast and hard. Is it really strong? My mama can't go samurai ninja on it, right? What happens um, when you slap it? When I slap it, nothing. I just hurt my hand. It's very strong material, but it doesn't Wait, float if, very well, if right? you slap the hand on the wood, it breaks. Yeah, that's right. The strength of steel makes it very appealing for large vessels. But when I put water on it and let it sit for a couple of days, you can see that it will react with that water, start to oxidize and turn to rust. That doesn't wipe off super easily. And over long periods of time, that rust can really turn into a problem for a vessel. Aluminum. Can you feel the block, Macy? That's pretty light, but it doesn't float, does it? It's lighter. What do you think, Bo? How do you um, feel about that to make a boat out of? Um, it does not float. It does not float, right? Mace, go ahead and put that block in the water. Right. It doesn't float. It floats or sinks less fast than iron, right? But aluminum, so if I hit it, right, we can bend it. It damages a lot more easily. So it's all right to make a boat out of. Like this is what they make pontoon boats out of, to make the pontoons and fill them with air. That makes sense. Um, yeah, but it's not like super heavy duty. So it's shapeable, but it's not super strong. When we put water on aluminum, it will also oxidize into this kind of white flaky sort of substance that doesn't wipe off easily. Plastic is something that they use to make boats. Throw that in the water. What happened? It sank. Does that seem like a great thing to make a boat out of? No. Not particularly. But the cool thing about plastic, right, is it's super moldable. Um, it's pretty good That's as far as, like, getting dented and stuff. Me. But you could definitely, like, puncture it. When we put water on plastic, it doesn't affect the plastic at all. It just might leave a little bit of residue that we can super easily wipe off. Fiberglass is made by taking this, like, matte-type material that is little tiny fibers of glass <laughs> that makes sense. and uh, pouring this hardener over it and so they can shape it into these really cool shapes and then as the resins harden um, it becomes that material but if you put that in water what happens what does fiberglass do it sinks also sinks <laughs> So this is a boat made out of fiberglass and you can see that it allows for a lot of really sort of intricate design to happen on the keel. And then 
as we come farther to the back, this back here under the swim step, I can show you what that fiberglass underneath looks like. So you can see the little fibers that they used and then they put the resin on it so that when you are on top of it, it has this nice smooth appearance. Fiberglass is super rigid and has a tendency to crack and can even snap and break under enough pressure. When we put water on it though, it just leaves a little bit of residue that can easily be wiped off. So the interesting thing is that most of the things that we make boats out of today actually do what in water? Sink. And so in order to get them to float, what do we have to make sure that they're filled with? Air. So while the density of a material is important when choosing the material for a boat, other things like the strength and the oxidation rate of a material might be more important depending on the circumstances and which type of boat it is you're looking to make. 